Thank you all for inviting me to be here at the 2014 California School-Based Health Alliance Workshop. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you in person, but know that as a former school nurse myself, I certainly am with you in spirit. In a country with more than 5 million uninsured children, school-based health centers serve as vital healthcare safety net providers to the nearly 2 million students who have access to them. In California, we have embraced the school-based health center model. We now have 226 school-based health centers, including many in my district on the central coast of California, and 20 more will open next year. These centers do more than just provide basic medical care. They often serve as hubs for innovative programming that helps students not only succeed in school, but also teaches them skills that are needed long after graduation. That's why I'm honored to be receiving this award for being your champion in Congress. But to be honest, I wouldn't be here without you. Serena Clayton, the staff of the Alliance, and so many of you from school-based health centers in California have been invaluable advocates for this work. Together, we worked to get federal recognition of these important centers. And eventually, we got the School-Based Health Centers Act signed into law and it's part of the Affordable Care Act. But as with most programs in Congress, we need to keep this one authorized. And that's why I have introduced H.R. 2632, the School-Based Health Centers Reauthorization Act to help keep these centers open. And with your help, we will get this bill signed into law as well. Thank you again for this award. It is truly a great honor.